Hello, good morning. My name is Pia Sohara and welcome to another video. I'm about to make a new sex toy review video, but my hair is wet and while it dries, I thought I would make this video, which is going to be about what to do when your ex contacts you. This is something I was talking about with some friends of mine and I thought it would be a good topic for a video and it's happened to me many, many times and actually in more recent times what I've done is just absolutely ignored these messages and I haven't felt guilty about that at all and I wanted to share my wisdom with you just in case you are going through or if this happens to, to you as well because, well, you know, you just do minding your own business, whatever, and then suddenly, boom, message from the ex. Ah, well, I think there are, when that happens, there are many emotions that can come um, to mind or to your heart. And I think, um, I think it all depends on if you want that person in your life or not. Um, for example, the, in my, in my uh, cases, more, more recent cases, I, I think, um, I've been a really relaxed person. I've always avoided conflict. So my more recent exes, if they contact me, there's no, there are no scars, you know, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but maybe I think I was more high maintenance and dramatic earlier in my life. So an ex coming back into my life would have been a much more, a much more dramatic experience. Whereas now I think, uh, I just don't see the point. <laughs> I think as you get older, I mean, for me at least, I just see that time is limited, energy is also limited, and I just think that I owe everything to myself, and that's the most important thing. So I think people think sometimes we have to be polite. Mm, yeah, but going back to what to do in that situation, the, the message arrives, and if it's someone that you think you can be friends with, even though if in, at a distance, let's say, I think it's it's okay to answer back and maybe say how are you and whatever and have them in your life at a distance maybe you could be Facebook friends or something or even if you want something more that's a good idea as well but in all other cases I just don't see the point personally I remember recently a friend an ex of mine who's now married with children wanted to have dinner with me and I was just thinking why would I want to do that especially knowing that he he would quite easily um, he would, he was, I, I think he, he would, how can I explain it? He would definitely uh, be up for a repetition, let's say, irrespective of the fact that he's married with kids. And just knowing that for me just makes me think, no way, I just don't, don't feel comfortable in that situation. And another one who, um, after we kind of broke up, he started trying to get it on with my friends. And as well, I just think, what's the point? You know, if someone's not your friend, they're definitely, if, I don't know, not, not worth, hmm, they don't deserve a place in my life. And I think it's really important to protect your energy first and foremost, because that can be really draining when an ex decides to come back into your life and, and you know, you might think that society tells us that we have to be polite and say, oh, hi, or that you should reply, but yeah, I, don't, I think you don't have to. And that's that's the, the approach I have taken more recently because I think if they are getting my time and someone else isn't or I'm not then I deserve it way more than they, than the ex does. So yeah, so I'm just ignoring these messages. And also what I find really rude just before I wrap this up is when you've ignored someone and then they keep messaging you and keep messaging you as if they have the rights to know about your life. And I find that just really rude. They're not getting the hint. They're not really listening. So, so all the more reason to, to not reply and um, in extreme cases, blocking might be the answer. Mm. So if you've received a message from your ex, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about sex toys, orgasms, dating or anything, don't hesitate to write to me at venus at venusohara.org or add me on Instagram at Venus O'Hara. Thanks for watching.